Hey guys, so I realized that I've been kind of absent. Uh, my posting has been kind of sporadic, so I just quickly wanted to address that before I get into today's video. But basically, my computer is not the fastest. I just did a stream a little while ago of me cleaning it out, but uh, it's it's still not that great. So basically, I've been filming a lot of longer videos, and not longer as in the videos themselves are long, but just there's a lot more footage, so it's been taking me a lot longer to edit them because after a certain time frame, after I do a certain number of edits, my computer just starts to freeze, and it's making it practically impossible to edit. So my plan is to actually upgrade the RAM on my computer. But, <laughs> I don't know when that's gonna get done. So, my video schedule, upload schedule is probably gonna be pretty erratic. And this video is not going to be very edited. Which means it's probably going to be very long. So, get just get buckled in for the ride, because it's happening. It's all happening. <laughs> and also, I have actual mic and also computer in front of me. So if I'm reaching forward to sort of reset things, that's why, because I'm probably not going to cut it out, because it's going to take too long, <laughs> and I want to actually post videos. <sighs> but I have a lot of really exciting videos that are coming up, but uh, it's going to be a while before they're posted, because there's just so much footage, and they're taking so goddamn long to edit. So I have some Furby project videos coming up. Um, I also just have some exciting projects that are over an hour of footage, but probably gonna be like a 20 minute video but it's just all those edits to cut it down is slowing down my computer so I gotta upgrade my RAM and get that all situated but thank you for 800 subscribers what what is that thank you oh my god I'm sorry that for those of you who are new who came when this was happening I apologize also I feel like I'm starting to catch a cold so, or maybe it's just allergies, but my nose is blocked, so I, I apologize if my voice is weird or if I'm sniffing a little bit. I know it's just, a, it's just a mess. It's just a shit show. I apologize. But I always get requests from you guys to make a Furby collection video. But here's the thing. I don't have a lot of Furbies, <laughs> at least not right now. Um, I literally have two that I can actually show you because my other one is being transformed into my favorite cryptid, Long Furby, so I don't have that Furby to even show you right now. But I thought I could make this an actual video by going over my toy collection with you guys because here's the thing, I'm a collector, I have a lot of things, so I figured I could just, I could show you those things and also include Furbies and the things you want to see. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be a very chill video. We're just going to hang out. Just going to have a good time. I'm going to show you all my all my collection items because I'm a collector. I have hoarding tendencies. I find things and then I cling on to them. So I have a lot of stuff, <laughs> but they're all sort of little things. So I figured I could just, and a lot of these things like have stories behind them. So. I could sort of share those with you guys and we could just, we could just have a good time. Alright? Alright. So I'm just gonna dump right into it. And the first sort of thing that I'm gonna talk about are figurines. So I have a little pile over here. Oh gosh. Everything's falling. Um, I know I have talked about this yo-yo before in a monthly favorites video, but this is my Ryuko Matoi Kill a Kill figurine that I just happened to snag on eBay one day and I love her so much I really need to dust her off because she's kind of starting to collect a little bit of dust from sitting on my shelf because she just has one pose she's there she's hanging she's very cool on the stand has like the writing on it and then you can see there's a little bit of panty shot right there <laughs> but I just I really like how she's done I think she's a very nice figurine I also have been really into bear brick I know I've shown you guys 
some of these, but and I'm pretty sure I've also featured these in monthly favorites. But I have my bear brick, Rilakkuma, and he's like a nice transparent brown orangey color. I also have my Evangelion, Rilak Evangelion bear brick, excuse me, and he's purple. And I'm always really impressed with Bear Brick and the amount of details they do on their figurines. They're just very cool and very tiny. And then this guy I got pretty recently. I don't exactly know when, it was probably a couple months ago, but I know for a fact I haven't shown him to you guys. But <laughs> it's a freaking, oh, look at him. Oh, it's a Spock. It's a Spock bear brick from Star Trek. It has a little Star Trek on the back and then the little emblem on the front. And I was like impressed by the fact that they still have his pointy little ear sort of in the side of his head, even though they also have the little bear ears. They also kept his little pointy ears. He's so serious, look at him. Look at his little eyebrows. Oh, I love it so much. His very, very stern face. Also have, I'm gonna show you guys the box first. This I had actually done an unboxing for a while ago, but I decided not to post it because this was something that I had got at Kineticon and uh, there was a lot that happened that day and I didn't end up posting the video. <laughs> I deleted all the footage, it was just a bad day. But this, is like my prized figurine and it is my CL Phantom Hive Ku is it, I don't know if it's Kopoche or Kupoche but it's my Book of the Atlantic CL Phantom Hive is like the most expensive figurine that I own I love the box it has all this it's a very cool design I currently use it for like storing things I don't have the figure in the box but I did want to keep it and he's popping out on the top right here. And here is the actual boy himself. Oh, oh, his little, ah, no. <laughs> he has lots of little pieces. I don't usually move him. He usually just stays on my shelf. Uh, but he comes with a bunch of little accessories and stuff, like different hands. This is the pose that I've sort of been keeping him at for a while, but everything is articulated, so his head, his head can move, his little arms can move, I'll show you guys, his little hands move, so I currently have him like this, but he can do a bunch of other cool poses, there's also a little spot in his back and there's like a little clear attachment that you can use to make him sort of jump up and stuff. And his design, it's from the Book of the Atlantic version, so that's like the outfit that he's wearing. But it has so much detail. He has the rings on his fingers, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. He has, he has his earrings in. His face is just so cute, look at his little boots. He has the buckles on his boots. <laughs> I don't know why that impresses me so much. And just a little bow in the back. And there's different faces too that you can switch. Oh, his little cane keeps falling. Oh. And the stand is magnetic. So he has magnets on his feet as well. So he can stand properly. But I love him so much. He co <laughs> cost me a lot. But I'm I'm so happy with him. Oh. oh, I'm gonna grab that guy since he fell. I know I've shown this in a video, but <laughs> I guess I sort of consider him in the toy category. But he's this little pencil holder, and I literally got him in middle school. And I still have him, and he's this dinosaur Godzilla-esque type monster. He has his little teeth, and he's nice and bumpy. And he has this textured belly and his arms wiggle. 
and yeah I use I use him to keep my tablet pen so that I always know where it is um, I also have these two little rubber ducks that I got on sort of a field trip with my dad when I used to go out more but uh, we won them at like a bus stop there was one of those crane machines where it was like you put in a dollar and you get to play until you win so these were a dollar each <laughs> this one's a little blue duck and he has a book their eyes so his I don't know if you can really tell but his eyes are like misprinted so they're not quite in the area that they should be but he's still very cute and then this guy not as much but they are still a little bit misprinted and he's like a space duck it's like a little space duck and they're kind of dirty for some reason I'm not really sure why they've been in my bathroom because in my mind that's where rubber ducks go but they're they're very like misprinted I don't know if there's like an official rubber duck I mean these say that they're made in China so I, I don't know if there's like an official rubber duck company or, or what but I just I really like them they're very cute and also it's just like a, a good memory so I like having them in my bathroom I also have some keychain type things I guess I know I showed you guys him in my Christmas video but that's all <laughs> Calico Rilakuma just wanted to show him off a little bit more in depth so you guys can see him because he's so cute He's so cute. <laughs> I love him so much. But I have been carrying him on my Kenken and I'm really hoping I don't lose him because I originally had that little poochie. It was a little pink Japanese poochie keychain on there and I don't know where it went and I'm so upset that I lost it because it was like one of my favorite possessions. So I'm gonna try to find one again but it was like super hard to find because I had gotten it uh, from Japan when I had ordered one of my ibos so I hope that I can find one again specifically the pink one I really like the pink one I know there's a blue one as well I also have this little kiwi well it's not actually kiwi I don't know what this little guy is supposed to be called but I had ordered it from a shop and <laughs> I had ordered a green version because it was the kiwi pop frog so I don't know they're based off like sodas so they're like soda pop frog keychains but I don't remember what the yellow one actually is and he's like a very cool transparent yellow and his tongue is like dangling out of his mouth and his arms and legs move his arms are individually articulated and then his legs are on this little axis here and he has this little collar so you're supposed to like hang him off a keychain but this guy he literally took a year for me to get because I had ordered it from this shop and it was just like it was on Shopify and it was just like I follow them on Instagram I don't want to throw them under the bus but um, I had ordered from them I don't remember how much it was it wasn't that expensive and months went by and I was like hey what's going on because <laughs> they said on their site that uh, their shipping time takes more than most places so I like waited a, a few months and I was like all right I gotta I gotta say something and they were like oh I'm so sorry well the, we're gonna ship those frogs out at our next shipment and whatever I'm like okay all right I do sales too like I I know it's tricky but like it shouldn't take you months just to ship something that you already have but regardless uh, it ended up taking me a year to get because I kept contacting them and being like hey is this like gonna come anytime soon and they're like it hasn't gotten to you yet I'm like no no I, I haven't gotten it yet <laughs> and that went on for a year they were very nice about it they were very sweet I assume it got lost in the mail and that's why I got this little yellow one instead of the green one I'm glad that they gave me one at all but it was kind of annoying to be like 
I just saw them and I fell in love and I was like, I want this frog and I paid the money and then it took me a year to get it. <laughs> but now he's here and I just gotta keep him in like a little box because I'm too scared to put him as an actual keychain because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose him. But he's so cute. Look at him. Ah. <laughs> so this little guy was originally a keychain and I'm very lucky to still have him because <laughs> what happened is the keychain part was in this little this little divot right here and it just yanked right out and luckily I was in the car at the time so I still have him <laughs> but I can't I can't use it as a keychain anymore because uh, even if I were to fix it I'd still be worried about it like just yanking back out but this is a little squishy ice cream like koala I believe it is and so it's green has a nice texture and it has this little strawberry on top has a little cone and it's relatively slow rising like that and I just I like having squishies around me all the time honestly <laughs> a lot of these things are squishies because I love them so much but I got this from a friend for my birthday and I'm so happy because I'm, I'm just always happy when I get things like this. I mean, I'm happy when I get <laughs> I'm happy when I get anything from my friends, but when it's something so specific, I get really happy. It's just, it's good. Continuing on the squishy train, I have quite a few more. I got this one. This is like, I believe this was the first squishy that I got. And this, I literally got from the mall. It has like a sweet kind of fruity smell. It's very soft. It's very slow rising. Um, it is starting to rip a little bit. The, let me see, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, the strawberries are starting to kind of come off. Now, here's the thing with squishies is um, I'm like a dog. And when I see something that starts to rip, then I start ripping it further. So I have ruined many a squishy by seeing a hole and then literally tearing it to shreds. Those were all cheap ones though. This one was a little bit more expensive so I'm being a little bit more gentle with it. <laughs> but... You can flatten it. And it's very, it's very slow rising. In my opinion. Look at that. Oh wow. And then what I like to do is like push each little strawberry down, kind of like a button, or like the little icing bits, like that. But if I could, I'd just squish this all day. I love it. <laughs> it's a good squish. Then I also have this one, which I think I also got from the mall. Honestly, I think I went back and got this one. This one's really starting to show some damage. It has this little tear right here, but I'm controlling myself. So I haven't been squishing this one as much. This also has the same sort of floral smell or fruity smell. It's also, it's very, very soft. I don't think it's an official Zan Xanax thing, um, but it's this little piece of cake. So they're both they're both cakes, by the way. Um, but this one has a little Hello Kitty at the top. Look at that! It's still going. Look at that! Wow. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. And I'm just trying not to rip it to shreds, even if it's not an official Sanex thing. I mean, maybe it is, but it doesn't have any, like, labels on it. I mean, it is a keychain, so there wasn't any, like, tag attached to it either, so I really do not know. I mean, the nose is a little bit off-printed, so maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. It came from the mall. It was that kiosk. <laughs> I don't know where they get their stuff. I also have this big ice cream squish. And this is much harder. 
this was I don't I don't know the brands of these because I take them out of their packages <laughs> but this was like a Walmart uh, or maybe like a Target brand of squishy and I really like the squish because it's a very different type of squish it's really hard so like you can really sort of get in there it's a little bit quicker rising still pretty slow though but I had to leave this just like on my shelf for like a couple months because when I first got it it reeked it was just like had this really really intense chemical smell now it's fine now it doesn't really smell like anything but when I first got it I just had to like leave it out of its packaging because it was very intense I don't know if they're all like that um, but this particular one really stank but it is a good it's a pretty good high quality squishy I mean this little piece is starting to show so this little pink is coming through the cone part because once again I'm like a dog I see a little tear I just start picking at it and then it just it just eventually is like this but I've been leaving it alone <laughs> I've been good about it so but yes yeah, it's, it's pretty good pretty good squish going along with fidget type things I have this fidget cube and this is not an official one I know that for a fact I got this on Amazon for like six dollars <laughs> so it's not an official one I don't know what brand it actually is but it is like a very the plastic feels very smooth and nice and it's like a really nice high quality thing even though it is the cheap off-brand one normally I want to support independent companies but y'all are expensive <laughs> so i got this one and it's just like a generic gray and black and everything on it works very nicely it has a little switch a little switch here i use the joystick a lot you can press this in and then rotate it i use this one a lot and then it has a little ball on the side you can move these little switch things then more sort of motion things and then these well this uh divot in the side and then the buttons on top i also really like the buttons some of them click and some of them don't which is really cool because that means if i'm trying to be quiet i can press this one these ones or if i like the click i can press these ones so these yeah these three are the ones that click and these ones don't but I just like throw this in my bag all the time. <laughs> I know they have like a keychain sort of holder and I'm thinking about getting one, but it also can just like, I can just throw it in my bag and it's not a problem. So I don't know if I want to run the risk of losing it by having it on a keychain, but it, it seems kind of cool. And now that I'm holding it, I just want to click it. I just realized that I'm leaving out the Furbies, which is probably what you guys came for so I'm going to show you this <laughs> now before I forget but this is french fry and he is a confetti furby the confetti furby is like my favorite design it's this yellow furby with these like little green and pink spots and he's decked out right now so he has this little uh, spiky bracelet and this little cute turtle bracelet also around him and what's nice about these bracelets in particular is they can be moved so like it doesn't go fully around his tail and his back so I moved all the bits and bobs up in the front so that I don't have to worry about his tail um, he also has some custom coca-cola eyes that I made for him and he has in his ear he has two pins in his ear in his ears <laughs> both are uh free radical pins i don't know who the artist is for this one this one is a julian solomita pin i don't i think they were like a limited edition thing i don't think he has them anymore i know he doesn't like furbies but maybe you would appreciate this one <laughs> this aesthetic boy but yeah his name was frank fry and he likes to yell so i don't really turn him on that much but I love him, he's very good, he's a good boy. And then the only other Furby I can show you guys right now is uh, Capstick, and yes, I did decide to name him Capstick uh, after one of your comments, because I had asked 
what I should name him in that video that I got him. But uh, I'm gonna customize him. I'm gonna make him a new fur. So I mentioned this somewhere. I don't know where I mentioned it, but <laughs> I'm going to make him a new skin. I don't know exactly what yet, but I'm going to do it. Um, let's see. I also have these very cute two little bean bag plush things. And they are my little, uh, not my, just little buddy at uh, littlebuddytoys.com. I got these from Hot Topic, but that is where you can get them. There are some other color combinations, but I have the pink one and she has a little flower up there and a little cute puffy tail in the back. And then this is just like a very, like a light tan. And I had to get two of them because I thought they needed to be friends. <laughs> and they have a very Rilakkuma-esque face, which is why I like them so much. And so I can just kind of like clap them on the ends of things and make it look cute automatically because these do. So they're, they're so cute. They were just, they were in a bin, hot topic, and I had to have them. So now I do. And I love it. I also have fidget spinners. I know I showed these in the monthly favorites, but I only have three. I only have three. <laughs> I have this generic green one that originally, so this was a joke gift given to me by a friend who taped pictures of uh, Pidge Gunderson on them, on it. <laughs> and this was my gateway into fidget spinners. But, uh,. Yeah, they ended up like getting ripped and falling off, which was a bummer, but uh, it was hilarious and I kept the fidget spinner. So I don't know where she got it, but it's it to this day, just looking at it reminds me of it. And it's so funny to me. <laughs> I also have uh, a couple, these are both from Amazon. This one is like a, a paint splatter. Thing. This one's very light, it's very plasticky, but it is a unique spin. So this is what it looks like. And it has these kind of sharp edges, but they're not actually sharp, but it's just like the design of it. Again, and it's a little bit, you can tell it's cute because it's a little bit like the design is kind of pixelated on it, but oh well. It's still, it's still a pretty good spin, so I like it. And then I also have, this is like my high quality fidget spinner. It's metal and it's very nice. It's got a really nice weight to it. Um, it it's these little skulls and I totally can't remember what this type of coloring is called. Please remind me in the comments because I can't for the life of me. It's like an oil slick type color, but it's like shifty between pink and green and blue. And it's just, it's a pretty, pretty dope spinner. If I do say, my, say so myself. And also it's skulls, which I enjoy. Speaking of which, I have my friend down here who's been hanging out. Oh, can I? Oh gosh, things are flying. <laughs> can I get you without knocking things over? Okay. Oh, but this is uh, my my son. This is my son. He doesn't really have a name. I've I've just been calling him my son all this time. Uh, I got him last year at Target. He is a three foot. Oh god, I got my pants. I got my pants caught in your flanges. Uh, but he is a three foot tall skeleton. You know, you can see his face with this angle. <laughs> and I dress him up. So he's got some shorts on, some sports shorts, and this little varsity jacket. And he's just, he's so funny. He just, like, I love him so much. It's so fun. I've been using him to keep, like, my bracelets and necklaces and stuff. So if you unzip his shirt a little bit, he has some bracelets on his neck right now and he just hangs out we just hang out we have a good time 
and he's he's my son. This is my son. I love skeletons so much. They're <laughs> I can't explain why. I just love them so much. He's just gonna hang out for a while. Is that okay with you? I also have this amazing, <laughs> oh, extremely dangerous rob rob robotosaur robotosaur. Um, I also got this as a gift from a friend, and it was so funny because it just she was like, I'm gonna buy you a robot, and then she got me this, and it's so funny. I love him so much. Um, I can't really demonstrate him for you guys, other than this is his turn on light. He basically he goes forward and sometimes left, and that's what he does. Uh, he has like a well, no, he doesn't. He has like this thing in his jaw that makes it seem like his mouth would close, but it doesn't, of course. Um, and he's just, he's so funny. He's so derpy looking. Look at his face. <laughs> it says, extremely dangerous, caution, on the front. And it makes me laugh every time. It's just, it's so funny. And then on the, on the little legs, you can see right here, he says, high impact crushing dual force robotically calibrated and <laughs> you go forward and sometimes left fam it's not that high tech and then on his back he has all these little like super techy advanced designs and it makes me laugh it makes me laugh so hard and so he has these little like rotary things on his feet and he also has these posable arms so you can pose them but they don't move so Pose them like this, pose them like that. It's so funny. <laughs> Extremely dangerous. I also have some other smaller plush toys here. This is just my little Doberman Pinscher Beanie Baby. And I got him from the Goodwill for a dollar. I just, I was looking for this particular Beanie Baby. And cause I, I love dogs with eyebrows. Dogs with eyebrows our life so his name is doby oh doberman doberman he has a doberman and i just i love dogs with eyebrows <laughs> it's so funny look at him look at him look at his little face i also have this isn't really like a plush but more just like a decor item but uh this is a little dachshund little plaid is this is this plaid what is this? This specific pattern? I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, this little plaid dark sound. I use him as like a book holder. But so he has these little beans in his feet so that he can stand up nice and sturdy. But I got him from Target. I don't know if they make this particular one. I know they have, they come out with like holiday dachshunds each year. And it's so funny to me. And I got him back when I was in Boston and it was like one of the first like decor items that I had like bought for myself just cause I could. And yeah, I still, I still have him. Now he just sits on my shelf, but he's a little dachshund. He's very cute. I used to have a dachshund, by the way, named uh, Cutie Pie. And he was so sweet. I love dachshunds. But it took me a long time before I was able to sort of get anything dachshund themed again uh because she passed away in a very traumatic way so but i still love dachshunds and i love this little guy he's very cute now i'm not what i'm not gonna do is i'm not gonna go over all of my really cool little plushies because you guys have already seen them in great detail <laughs> in a lot of other videos so this is these are my four really cool little plushies um i have the regular one just generic. I have space, cordly coma, cordly coma, and I have my rainbow cordly coma, and I have my little eight-inch cordly Um, I also have. I don't really have a lot of plush plushes right now. I mean, I have a lot of like tiny ones, but I don't have a lot of like big plush toys right now. Um, I got this. I know I had a video where uh, she is featured, but I got this Hello Kitty this big pink Hello Kitty plush and it's like a Build-A-Bear plush and so she has these I love the white leopard print she has these white leopard print feet 
and the feet have these little Hello Kitty designs on them. And she's just, she's so cute. She's winking, give him a wink. And she actually has a little voice box in there. I also got this for you plush and it is a biggin. I use this guy for a pillow. His name is Cheerio. Um, I got this at Kineticon a, I don't even know how long ago. This was a while ago that I got this guy, but he's very soft. He's very soft and he's a calico with the, I don't remember what those cats are called where they have like flat ears. I know they have like ear problems and stuff, but like I'm allowed to like it in a plush form. Okay, I'm allowed. It's not hurting anybody, uh, but he's very cute. He's his little, little plush, little blush cheeks on this little embroidered sleepy face and this little tail over here. And this ear did like the stitching came undone. So eventually I'm gonna stitch this back up again, but for now it's just kind of flapping there and this is a big <laughs> i'm not sure how the face is looking for you guys but uh let's see what is the brand mogu a mogu dog i have no idea where i got this guy i've just kind of had him forever um but he's a bean like a bean bag plush so this is all all bean in here 100 percent bean and he's this very derpy face with the circle eyes. I love the circle eyes. And he's a pug. And I use him as a pillow as well. Because he's very, he's not soft, but you just like, you just sink into him. You sink, you sink into him. He doesn't have a name because I don't, I don't remember when I got him. I don't, I don't think I bought him. I think this was just something that like I, I happen to own now. <laughs> I don't think I ever, like I don't I've looked up the brand a couple times and like I haven't been able to find him but it's so funny came from New York so I used to go on like New York trips uh, as a kid because my sister went to college in New York so this may have been a purchase there but I do not know I'm gonna continue talking about that in a minute because there's some other pluses that are from New York from that time period in my life and then this guy, I have had since I was seven years old, and his name is Mr. Snuggles. Yes, that is his name. I was seven. <laughs> My dog's name was Cutie Pie. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Uh, but he's a big old basset hound. And he's very, he's not too soft, but like very huggable. And I think he's, I don't know exactly how big he is, but I think he's also like 36 inches, like almost the same height, the same height as my skelly here. So he's very, he's very big and very huggable. But yeah, I have had him for so long. Uh, I got him from a Toys R Us. I had this, I had this very bad habit of cutting off the tags when I was little, so he no longer has a tag. <laughs> but uh, there's just a little remnant right there where the tag used to be so i don't know exactly but i'm pretty sure it was like a toys r us like kiosk in new york and he was very expensive he was like 70 dollars because he's he's a very big uh his stuffing has kind of like hardened in some some places so like his arms have like no stuffing in them and his paws have like a ton of stuffing in them uh i've repaired his nose so this isn't his original nose he has a new one and his eyes are like very like in his head like he has like frog eyes and so all his stuffing is kind of chunky but I also use him as a pillow he fits very nicely around my neck like that and there was a period in my life where I literally whenever I would go on like a sleepover as a kid I would have to have him with me like I would not sleep if I did not have this boy with me and it was literally because I used him as a pillow like it was the only way that I could sleep was to use him as a pillow I remember uh sleeping over uh my dad's house one time and I had I didn't have him I don't remember how I had forgotten him because he's so massive sorry I just got cut off
real quick for a minute. Uh, cause I ran out of space, so I had to put in a new thing. I just told two long ass stories and they got cut out. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to reorient myself. I'm, I apologize. Um, I believe I was telling a story about this guy. I was at, I was at my dad's house. All right, yes, okay, good. I'm gonna start from there. But uh, basically I had forgotten him and I couldn't sleep. I was having a breakdown. I was sobbing. And I was like, I gotta, ha I gotta have him, gotta have him to sleep. And I remember at one point, my dad was literally like, he's just, he's just a piece of fabric. Like, re like really, like you gotta, you gotta stop. <laughs> I was like, no, but I can't, I can't sleep without this piece of fabric. Like I can't. And um, I don't remember how that was resolved. I don't remember how a lot of these things were resolved. I just remember the problem, <laughs> but, uh, and I, re I remember the first time that I had slept without him, I was at a friend's house and I couldn't bring him with me because I was coming from like some sort of sports beat or like someplace where I couldn't, I couldn't fit him in a bag and like bring him with me or like stop somewhere and go back and get him. So I had, I didn't sleep at all that night not a bit. I had to use a regular pillow, like a regular person. But I remember that being sort of a moment of like, I'm becoming an adult. This is me becoming an adult, not sleeping without Mr. Snuggles. And uh, this is me as, as an adult. And I've regressed a lot. <laughs> I have probably more toys than I did when I had as a kid, if we're being honest. <laughs> I also have ooh, these two right here and they're currently in their Christmas sweaters still because I quite like the Christmas sweaters but I got these two from Animal Alley in New York this is Lou he was my first stuffed animal ever and I'm not sure if he's supposed to be a basset hound I used to be obsessed with basset hounds or if he's supposed to be a beagle I know this is Shiloh uh, she is supposed to be a beagle but I'm not sure uh, with Lou, is he if he's supposed to be a basset hound or a beagle? But I've since like looked them up just out of curiosity to see if I can find them, and they do still exist. I mean, they're not like currently available for sale, but like I've seen like used ones for sale, and it's so funny to me because like even though these guys in particular hold a lot of sentimental value, it would also be funny to just like have multiples. <laughs> so Lou, he was named after one of my favorite movies at the time, though now I don't know the name of, but it was like. I think it was just called Cats and Dogs, honestly, but it was this this movie where there's like these these cats and dogs and they're like this secret world and they're like spies and they have all these like weird technology things and like I've literally seen it 50 times but I can't remember the name of it because <laughs> I had it on cassette and uh, it was just like whatever on my spare time, I'd be like, I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna watch Cats and Dogs. I'm pretty sure they made like a sequel. I don't know how many they made, but that was the thing that I used to love as a kid. The CGI is probably absolutely god awful to today's standards, but I used to love that shit. So since he has glass eyes, uh, this one is kind of like buried in there. I'm not really sure why. And then this one has this scratch, this big old scratch on it. And let me tell you why. So. Uh, I used to bring him with me everywhere, whereas this guy, I had to sleep with him every night. This guy, I had to just have on my person wherever I went. So I had brought him with me to some kind of like daycare thing. And uh, this girl came up to me and was like, hey, can I play with him? And this was the crucial point in my life where I was learning how to share things. And this is why I'm very bad at it to this day. <laughs> but basically, she was like, can I play with him? And I was like, uh, okay, sure. And so she takes him, and I don't remember if, like, I had a leash for him or if, like, she brought her own leash, like, B-Y-O-L. She took a leash, she put it on him, and she dragged him through the sand, just across the, <laughs> across the playground. And, like, she didn't asked to like play with him with me like she just wanted to play with him like not me like not not us we're a package deal but she just wanted him so she just took him and was just dragging him through the sand and i was mortified 
And then like at the end of like our like recess time outside, she was like, okay, here you go. And she came back with him and he's just covered in dirt and just like muck. And <laughs> I'm like, what did, you, what did you do? What did you do to him? And so I got home that night and I was like, mom, mom, what, what, do, I, what do I do with this? She was like, holy shit, what did you do? And I'm like, I didn't do anything. This girl just took him and dragged him through the sand. So we had to very, very thoroughly watch him and it was a big deal and I thought he was not gonna make it. Uh, but obviously he did. He's still, he's still here, still cool. Uh, <laughs> but so after this ordeal, she was like, don't, don't give him to that, to that girl again. Like, don't, no. And so the next day I go there and I have him with me and he has this scuff on his eye and he's all clean, but it was, it was a lot to get him that way. The same girl comes up to me and is like, Hey, can I play with him? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I know, I know how this goes. I know what happens. And so I just blatantly, I'm like, no, absolutely not. Which uh, was not really the right way to go about it. <laughs> Child me, that was not really Maybe could have showed her. She was a little bit better. But uh, I was learning, okay? I was like a kindergartner, first grader at the time. And uh, so she was appalled that I could say no to her. And obviously I, it was in a very rude manner, but still nonetheless. So she starts bawling. She starts crying her eyes out and she runs to go get one of the counselors. And I'm sitting there like problem solved. I just told that bitch off she's she's going off somewhere else and uh so she comes back with them and they're like what did you what did you do you can't like just like just share because this was this crucial point where we're learning how to share and i'm like however old i am <laughs> not very good at explaining things so i'm just like well she, I mean, she took him and drew him through the sand so no i'm not gonna we're not gonna share this is mine this is mine now. We, we're done with the sharing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so th that little girl, I'm, I'm sorry if you're fucked up because of that, but uh, you shouldn't also, you also shouldn't like ruin other people's belongings. I mean, granted, we were both at fault. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he he is a Sandy boy. No longer Sandy, thank goodness. But I'm, I'm glad that I still am able to have him. I also, have Shiloh and she came second and she was from another movie that was definitely a Beagle movie. I don't remember the name of it, but the main, well, it wasn't a main character. It was actually like a rather serious movie, but there was a Beagle named Shiloh and that was like all I got out of it. So, <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is Shiloh. I'm pretty sure there was a book also that I read, but um, all I really remember is that at one point she like tore a man's leg off. Like it, it was very intense. But, uh, all I got was dog named Shiloh. I like the name. She's a beagle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're like a duo. They're like, they're like friends. So, she's a little bit softer, a little bit just in better condition than him because of, because of his past. He's been through a lot. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy that I still have these guys after all these years. But yeah, I think that is it. That is all I have to show for you guys today. This probably is a very long video and didn't really help my case of editing, but hopefully it won't, it won't be that, uh, won't t actually take that long to edit because the issue is not the length. It's more of how many edits I put in is what slows my computer down. So hopefully get my RAM upgraded and get back to editing normal videos. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed these, all of my things, all of my toys, all of my collections, and my mini stories that went along with some of them. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this or my next video, so please bear with me. Once again, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.